a leader, an inspiration, the most successful skipper in the club's history. But more than that, the foundation on which City's transition to the powerhouse they are today was built. Vincent Company has his opportunity to say thank you to the fans. And in truth, it's the fans who are clamouring to say thank you to him. football in Qatar and I mentioned that uh, there'll be opportunities galore tonight and there's the first of them scored by Martin Petrov the smile for Vincent Company applause from Joe Hart and Martin Petrov gets beyond Gary Neville in the right back position and thumps it into the roof of Edwin van der Sar's goal Here's Van Persie and Marsh Nicole, good tackle by Pablo Zabaleta. And the through ball is onside and Joe Hart makes the save. A brilliant save it was too. Very keen to keep a clean sheet and deny Robin Van Persie there. Little run from Robin Van Persie, he was onside, and that's a smashing save. And then Giggs. Little touch from Scholes, away by Torre again. Carrick's touch, Giggs forward. Van Persie, and in by Robbie Keane. And it's 1-1. Enjoyed by the coaching staff of... Messrs Martinez and Henri. Good move, nice touch, good finish. Marjorie Dion. Hello, Torre. And on it goes towards Petrov and into the path of Stephen Island. And he jinks one way and then the other, and Bellamy's offside. Andersar made the save anyway, to be fair to him. But uh, the flag would have prevented the goal. Huge round of applause for the players. Martin Petrov getting things underway in the opening seconds, really, with a trademark left foot rasper into the roof of the net. But uh, Robbie Keane was always a predatory striker and he tucked away the chance that came his way. And there's Vincent Company's brother. Getting a, a piece of the action. It's good play by the All Stars, and it's more than that. It's uh, a goal for Robin Van Persie. It's a nice little combination, actually. It's a lovely finish from Robin Van Persie. I mentioned he'd only retired a few months ago. Well, that was clear with that beautiful angled finish, which uh, was uh, unstoppable. Nasri, De Jong, Elias Vassell is stripping off and readying himself. Here's Nasri. Now Ireland. Nasri again. That's beautifully worked. City with a chance. Petrov. Good save by Shea Given. Really good stop by Shea Given. Low to his right to deny Petrov. as though it was going to be the equaliser for the Blues but Shea Given had other idea that's a super save Mark Hughes up in the stands was the man who signed Vincent Company from Hamburg and uh, very happy to be here on a, an occasion where the player that he had the wisdom to see the potential of is enjoying his testimonial Petrov looking towards the run of Vassell away by Carragher gathered in by Benjani plenty forward here for City 
Dietmar Hamann wanted it, Petrov hits it, and Shea Given clasps it. And we're into the last 90 seconds of the Vincent Company testimonial between the Manchester City legends and the Premier League All-Stars. Just being shaded at the moment by Robin Van Persie's goal, but could there be an equaliser? My goodness, it's exactly what the doctor ordered. Ben Gianni with the header and the celebration that was his trademark. And the goal that this enormous crowd wanted to see, and the result, I suppose, that they all wanted to see, has arrived in the nick of time. Well, he scored on his debut with his first touch as a blue at the Old Trafford derby. And Ben Charney has popped up again with a header. Again, it's timely. This time, it's to make it 2-2 in the Vincent Company testimonial. And a fitting end, a fitting finale provided by Ben Charney. And it's heralded with great delight on the city bench. Just a suspicion it might have been Jamie Carragher who was supposed to be marking Ben Gianni there. And uh, all eyes on Mark Halsey. How much time is he going to add on? The ball all the way through to Shea Given. And that is that. And the Vincent Company testimonial ends rather fittingly in a draw. Martin Petrov set things underway in the opening seconds. Ben Gianni finished it all off in the closing seconds. And we have ourselves the perfect result to a thoroughly perfect occasion.